Uh, thanks for that then, Nick. Well, Nick will be back with some more tomorrow. It's the it's a one and a quarter mile maiden. Next for three rounds. The top one is Amjad Landon for James Shea. Backstreet Lad, John Seaford, Cabin Fever, Hymns, Dante's Inferno, Joshua Sutherland, Follow You, Mark Jones, Hannah and Elder, Vinnie Gerard, Hot Pursuit, Django, Look Left, Martin Cairns, Lugo, Darren Thompson, One World, Paul O'Neill, Sahid, Shadwell, Sagacity, Steps for Dan Hughes, Stormy Willow, C. Beckwith, and Ultimately Cool, Paul Rhodes. So... All in and all out, and closest to a sagacity steps. Got away nicely, a little bit slow to go as the grey look left, but ultimately cool. He's going to try and be ultimately cool and win it from the centre of the track, it would seem, but bursting through down on this near side, Dante's Inferno. He's going to try and change that, but ultimately cool is back in front by about a length to Dante's Inferno, and then Cabin Fever, Backstreet Land Lugo. Pursuit, probably just the back marker at this stage, but ultimately caught. Cool. He's going to race down towards the seven furlong point with a lead of a couple of lengths to Dante's Inferno. Cabin Fever, follow you, then Amjad Landing and Saheed. Lugo left for that one, then One World and follow you. Right down towards the final six furlongs there, and ultimately cool is in front from Dante's Inferno and Cabin Fever, Lugo, Saheed. After that one, Backstreet Lad Amjad Landing's trying to get a little bit closer. Look left and hot pursuit oh, up the centre of the track and still towards the back. Another one out the back is Hannah Nelder. Uh, Backstreet Lad being pushed along, so too is one world, but ultimately cool is going pretty cosily in the lead, but bursting out of the pack now. Sahid has come through the challenge. They come to swallow up this leader, maybe, but now it's kicked on again. Ultimately, cool is still in front, and it's still a couple of lengths clear off Sahid. Amjad landing, Lugo, Dante's Inferno, Stormy Willow is coming through nicely as well, but they down towards the final two and a half furlongs, and he said go on. Ultimately, cool now, and ultimately, cool has put four lengths between himself and the rest of the field. Sahid, Amjad landing, follow you, Cabin Fever on one world after that, then Stormy Willow, Dante's Inferno has hit a bit of a flat spot, but ultimately, cool. He's going well in the lead. Jockey has to look round. There's still a furlong to go though. And they're chasing after him. Amjad landing. Sahid cabin fever and one world. They're getting closer to ultimately cool. Ultimately cool. Half a furlong to go. He's trying to need the line. He's keeping up to his work. He's now being swapped by Amjad landing on the outside. Amjad landing is beginning to get up as they cross line. Amjad landing and Sahid cabin fever. Ultimately cool was ultimately too cool. And I think dropped back to the fourth. And had an elder finish like a train as well. That one looks like he might be better over a little bit further judging by the way it came past the post but Amjad Landing has got up to take it and that could be another one for James Shea on the flat Amjad Landing for James Shea on the flat then Saheed for Shadwell was second Cabin Fever for Hims was third ultimately cool looked all over the winner for most of the race for Paul Rhodes was fourth and one world for Paul O'Neill was fifth